Theoretically speaking, videos that are straight to the point without any extra stuff that is not related to the main topics being discussed, providing your audience with just what they would benefit from very strictly, without anything that they wouldn't care about should be the best strategy to become super popular on YouTube. Until your channel gains enough traffic and awareness from an enough number of people, you are advised to resort to tactics that would throw your videos toward your desired audience to generate enough exposure to your content. Your material should answer those two questions, why should people watch your video? And, why should they continue watching your video? How would you attract them initially while also making them stay convinced that the material you are presenting them is worth their continued attention? It is commonly said that the only way to grow your channel on YouTube is to produce high-quality content, at least 3 to 4 videos per week, with the proper research and with good content strategy. And promote your videos at every social media platform. Recently making videos that keep the viewer watching for a long period of time is being added toward the tips to get you going, because as it is commonly believed at the moment, the number of views is not longer the only factor that pushes your video in the recommended section, it is the watch time of your video, that is, how long people have watched your video in so far. Let the title of your video be indicative of the content of the video not something that would attract people only to find that your video totally does not address the topic mentioned in the title of your video. People clicked on your video only to get the topic mentioned in the title of your video instantly discussed. The longer you delay or stall this from taking place, let alone entirely not including it in your video, is a huge disappointment for your audience, and they would leave your video frustrated and perhaps mad too mad to recommend your video to anybody else, because you know how loving and caring humanity is, and they wouldn't want anybody to go through the hell they just endured a few seconds ago. Also, take care of the video description. Try to make the description section of your video, well, a real description of what is being handled in your video. Do not try to make it contain all what is in the video. Do not attempt to make an essay that makes people able to substitute your description for watching the video itself, because, people do not like or enjoy repetition. Do not provide spoilers in the description section of the stuff that is inside your video. Let people enter your video wondering what's inside, but they might get an idea of what your video is about from the description section, and that should be only if the title alone does not fulfill this job enough. The description section is an explanation of what your video contains or is about, not another version or a text version of your video. The description section should not be a text of what is being said inside the video, or a substitute of watching the video for someone in a hurry who wants to scan what is inside this video in a few seconds. Tag your videos with any category your video might fall under. Also thumbnails are misleading and they are almost never the reason someone clicks on a video. It is all about the title. Take care of the title, and people would be encouraged enough to check your video out. Upload new videos on your channel frequently and consistently. The more you upload to your channel, the more YouTube would become aware of your presence. You are not there to YouTube if you do not provide them with something new on a regular basis. YouTube doesn't want a cool random single video that would attract people, YouTube wants a source of videos that could provide them with great videos that people will be attracted to and keep watching regardless of what these videos are, that is, some channel that people jump to watch any new video it produces regardless of what this video is about or regardless of what this video's title is. This is why they offer you the option of uploading your videos to your channels only and not just upload your video in some space or general location of videos who fall under the same category. When you share on social media, and you still got a small number of followers on the social media platform you are attempting to share your new video on, try to include tags that people are likely to find your new video at, and not just post a link to the video in a tagless post. Even tags that are not necessarily related to the type or category of your video, like Monday Thoughts on Twitter for example, should be heavily included in your post, in order to get the biggest number of people to be exposed to your shared link, 
and the largest chance or probability people are going to run into your shared link, and find your channel, and consequently, spread the good word of how awesome your channel is to hopefully everyone they know. Make every video worth watching on its own, not because people already are fans of you and would devour anything that you throw at them. If you can get every person to want to watch any of your videos even if this is the first video ever they try from your channel, then you are doing a good job. Countless videos found on the channels of many super popular people are really trash. People just watch them by the millions just because they want to be with the people behind those channels, that is, they enjoy being with and love the company of those content creators to the extent they would stick around them even when they rant about tremendously boring stuff. So make sure that every video you produce people would want to watch it because it is epic, a masterpiece, not just because you're the one who produced it and they dig anything you throw at them, even if it is profoundly mediocre. In the end, don't worry about your number of subscribers being stuck at zero for several months already. People would come when your channel is discovered by someone who is insanely popular and would comment on or trash talk about how your channel sucks to most of his or her audience, then you would be noticed by a huge number of people, and those few who would really appreciate your work would find you and become your earliest loyal audience base or fans.